Good morning, my friends, and welcome to a daily dose of inspiration. Thank you for joining. A man once told his friend, he says, you know, I've been going to my therapist for 25 years, once a week, every week, and finally my therapist said, some, said something to me that made me cry. His friend asked him, what did your therapist say? He said, my therapist, after 25 years of me talking to him, said to me, looked at me and said, no hablos inglés. Many of us are going through a very hard time right now. People are dealing with anxiety. A lot of people are dealing with feeling very, very unsettled. People are concerned about loved ones. People are concerned about their health, the health of their loved ones. And unfortunately, there is a lot of suffering. People have lost uh, loved ones and not even been, give, been given the opportunity to grieve with friends and family together. And at times like this, when we deal with such pain, sorrow, anguish, and of course the anxiety, it's important to follow one of the great teachings of our sages, of our tradition. In Proverbs it says that when you have a worry on your heart, you shall remove it. And the commentaries explain that the Hebrew word that's used for remove it is the same, can be also read, and it's the same letters that can be read as you should talk it. That having a mentor, a friend, a colleague, a family member that you can talk to, that you can share your worries, that you can share your anxieties with, is extremely therapeutic, is extremely powerful. Sometimes your friends, your mentor may have a perspective that may be helpful, but even not so. Just the very act of talking and speaking it out with a friend can make a tremendous difference and can be very, very powerful in the healing process. And so it's during these times, especially during these times, that it's important that we find someone that we can confide in, that we can speak to, that we can share, share our thoughts and concerns with. It's interesting, we're coming up to the holiday of Passover just in a few days, and Passover is a holiday of, that is about getting together and talking, sharing, telling the story of the Haggadah. In fact, Pesach, which is the Hebrew word for Passover, can also be understood as a meaning, peh, a mouth in Hebrew, sach, that speaks. It's about speaking, it's about communication. And we should use this tool of communication and sharing and fighting with others to help bring us healing and to help us through these difficult times. Thank you very much for joining. Hope you have a wonderful day and Shabbat Shalom.